blessed the guys and peace be upon this man so in this video we're going to start uh, on cisco adaptive security plans firewall configuration and we're going to do firewall basic configuration so i'll just open our notepad i mean our google spreadsheet and let you know that today we're in our firewall technologies and we're going to do basic firewall configuration which comprises of uh, interface security level setup okay all right so without any further ado i'll open our notepad and i let the steps to follow to achieve the objective so the first step is always to draw the next topology decorate and comment so i'll explain the topology that i drew okay all right so as you can see we have the firewall at the center and i want to connect how many lands i want to connect three lands so each lan uh as a name for example this is inside network this is outside network this is a dmz so the inside network is how is where uh, we are hosted okay where our users are our hand devices in the dmz is where we store our servers in the outside network maybe where our clients are outside the network okay we're far away let's say that where our clients are or strange people or people that we don't know right okay so in the inside network basically it's normally trusted under firewall configuration we include our uh, inside network as trusted we don't trust anything coming from outside okay so it remains untrusted we partially trust something from the dmz okay so we have to implement firewall policies and before you implement firewall policies it's very very important to learn how uh, the basic configuration of uh, the firewall so before we can begin the basic configuration i just want to let you know that here is the internet network with this network out of the network with this network dmc dmz or server farm is where we store our servers in this network and then it's very very important to choose the right firewall for this setup so basically in this setup or in this series of uh, training we are going to use 5506 x adaptive security appliance cisco firewall all right choose 5506 there are two firewalls here they are 5505 and 5506 so ensure you choose 5506 for this lab right okay so let, let's just complete the lab by connecting so i connect from uh the switch to the firewall i connect from the switch to the firewall all right so uh, we've done uh the connection as you can see we've connected our inside to the firewall and the dmz to the firewall and finally outside to the firewall so any traffic from any land to another from one land to another will pass through the firewall and all the policies that we will configure in in the near future uh will be applied here okay all right so uh i'll go back to our notepad again and uh step two says that we configure hostname enable password username and password and clock and date so guys basically when i click on the 5506 6 x firewall then i come to configure cll you can see the default username is always cisco sa adaptive security appliance okay all right so just enable and when you enable you will encounter password this password is normally blank by default so just hit enter exit enable this password is normally blank by default just hit enter then config t all right so the first thing is to configure the firewall with the host name so we just say host name host name let's say parameter firewall okay then it enter so you can see 
the host name has been changed to parameter file. So the second thing that you configure there is enable password to protect the privilege exec mode. Remember, like I said, that this password, this is a password that protects the privilege exec mode and it was black. So let's uh, configure another password to protect that mode. So it's just normal way that we normally configure enable password. Just so you just say enable, enable password. Then you write your password. Let's say uh, jtech 123 and you hit enter. Right? Okay. So when you go back here, you can see uh, we, we have to configure hostname and password, then clock and date. Right? Okay. So how do we configure hostname? Very simple. The, the way we normally do it, just say hostname. Uh, let's say jtech. Okay, then password to be password to be uh, gtick123 and hit enter. Then finally, clock and date. So just say clock, clock set. Then let's query. Okay, so here we, we can put uh -huh, hours, minutes, and seconds. So we just say uh, it's, uh, it's 1751 with some seconds let's just say 30 seconds okay then today is 20th july 2023 so we've we've done clock and the date so we just hit enter Good. all right so another thing that we are here to configure is the interfaces well the basic or the basic to configuring policies is the interfaces you have to configure interfaces you have to configure IP addresses the names and the security levels if you don't this one if you don't do this one then you will not be able to configure policies so before we do any policy in the firewall we need to configure IP addresses to the interfaces and then name them and give them security levels okay all right so I'll explain as we progresses all right so let's go do the interfaces so for example this one is gig you can see it's a gig one slash slash one okay gig one slash one so we just enter we just enter here we just enter interface gig one slash one okay then the first thing that we do you can see it's in shutdown state let's just turn it up no shut oops I wrote the wrong one. I want gig one slash one. No shirt. Yes. So this gig one slash one. Let me confirm again. Yes, gig one slash one. So after doing this, what we do, we assign it a P address. So you can see on this side the IP address is the network is this, is this one, okay? So it's just it's a IP add to be 192.168.100.1 let us take let it take the first IP address okay then set it must go 255 255.255.0 and we hit enter then after signing IP address you have to give the interface name when well when we are configuring policies we refer to the interface using its name so it's very very important that you configure the names to each and every firewall interface okay so just say name then you just eat on tab you say name if then you give it name we normally give it them name in terms of inside outside and dmc you can see this is connecting to the inside so we just say inside caps okay and you hit enter so you can see security level for inside set to zero by default okay so the second thing that we do is do what is called security level. So, well, in firewall configuration, there's something that's called security level based on trust. Okay. So, a source or a point or a network that you trust, we give it 100% security level. The one that we don't trust, we give it zero. The one that we partially trust, we can give it for something... 70 50 exit exit okay all right so we just say security level security level to be 100 because this is inside network all right okay then we hit enter exit then you go to 
uh, gig 1 or 2 uh, I mean gig 1 slash 2 so just say interface gig 1 slash 2 okay 1 slash 2 then no shut in case it's down okay then you assign it IP address IP address you can see here is uh, this IP address here okay so IP add to be 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot uh, 1 slash 28 so slash 20 days to slash 28 basically is normally 255.255.255.240 okay all right and just hit enter then what do we do we name it because we'll be referring to this interface through the use of it na its name okay just say name if to be dmz this is a dmz okay interface you can see it's connecting to the dmz network dmz LAN. okay so it's the dmz name is dmz so whenever you configure a, a, an interface with a name its security level is set by to zero by default so let's because we partially trust dmz let's give it a, a security level of 70 or 50 okay so just a security level security level to be mm -hmm, 70 no problem okay all right then you exit all right finally we configure this interface which is um gig one slash three so we just go there gig one slash three then no shut okay so after no no shut ip add i uh, can see it's uh 20.20.20.1 okay 255.255.255.0 then we give it a name uh it's outside outside then security level security level to be zero because we don't trust it untrusted source has a security level of zero low the lowest priority okay it enter exit all right so when you go back here you can see number four is to save and display config well in firewall it's different on how we do them it on a router or a switch how do we save in a firewall it's very simple just say write mem write memory and you hit enter write memory just say write write memory memory just like this and hit enter you can see or wrmm write memory or wrm okay it doesn't matter where you do it whether you do it in global configuration mode or privilege exec mode it will work okay all right so you know in 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 uh, in the normal uh devices for example routers we normally do uh we normally say do write okay and do it enter but in firewall this you don't need to say do just say write mem okay and you hit enter then how do you display uh the configuration it's very simple you don't use do in firewall just say show start and you hit enter without do whether you're in global configuration mode or privilege exec mode it will work so you can see the host name is uh, parameter firewall aha uh -huh. enable password you can see it's encrypted by default okay all right so the interfaces you can see the gigs one this one the name is inside security level is this one and the ip address okay the same applies to the other two interfaces okay all right so guys basically and that's all about this simple video so we will be using this uh this topology to configure the following classes so for the two classes i'll mark them as done okay so we'll be using the same topology to configure dscp uh, routing protocols etc etc okay until we come to the end of firewall configuration so please subscribe to this channel like this video share with friends and let's see you again in the next video bye